Hi everyone, can you hear me well? Yes. Yeah, right. So, today I wanted to ask you all a question. Opportunity, what do you think it means? The definition of opportunity is, it is a set of circumstances that make it possible for you to do something. Now, I believe that anything can be made into opportunity. Sometimes we are given opportunities, and sometimes we have to make our own opportunities. Today, I will talk to you about building the door to opportunities. When it seems like every other door is closed, there have been many important opportunities in my life. And I want to start off by talking about the opportunity to communicate with everyone. I was born with very deaf, which means I cannot hear anything. I get a perfect night of sleep every night without fail. <laughs> my parents are also deaf. And some of my brothers have two brothers. My parents are not only deaf, but they are also culturally deaf, which means that they use sign language. They do not speak, they do not hear their words. So deaf schools growing up, they have deaf friends, and they are just totally immersed in that world. My brothers are also culturally deaf, as you may call it. However, my favorite part about, about my favorite is that my extended relatives are also hearing and deaf. I have hearing cousins, deaf cousins, hearing uncles, hearing and deaf, and so what have you. But when I was five years old, I decided that I wanted a cochlear implant, which is a device that helps you hear. And this came as a shock to my parents because they had grown up in that culturally deaf world. And it was unthinkable that a deaf child would ask for what. My hearing great parents really thought it would be a great idea, really pushed me for me to get it, because they thought it would be an opportunity for me to enter the hearing world. However, there's a controversy because the deaf world felt like I was saying that they were not good enough for me, that I was rejecting everything they stood for. But the hearing world folks about my parents and said, well, you're a bad parent, you're not allowing your child to hear. I don't think uh, the criticisms were true. My parents tried to make the best decision for their child at the time. And all the fighting happened. And in the end, my parents decided, no, I was not going to get the cochlear implant. And because of the tension, we all moved to Maryland, which has a large deaf community, which means you go anywhere. And most likely, there will be someone who knows and understands how to communicate with deaf people. Whereas back in New York, the watching a community, some people may have looked at that as my parents robbing me of the opportunity to hear to communicate. But I looked at it differently. That was an opportunity for me to be able to do it to the deaf world. I went to deaf schools, I learned deaf language, had deaf friends, I played on deaf sports teams, and I loved it. I loved experiencing the deaf culture. But when I was 10 years old, my mom got sick, and we had to move back to New York to be with the family to get that support. And I was moved back into a predominantly hearing neighborhood, which means that every kid on the block was hearing, and I could not communicate with them. So I thought to myself, okay, I want the opportunity to communicate with them. And so six years later, from the first movie, I asked for a cochlear implant. My parents were very skeptical at first, but I was very persistent. My dad would tell me that. And he said, okay, my parents said, okay, and I got it. But my doctor told me that my chances of getting good speech, a good speech, a good hearing was very minimal because I'm a 10 years old and that was very late in the language learning stage. But I was very stubborn. Well, there was a will, there was a way. So I immediately started speech therapy, which was an opportunity given to me by my school district. I went, went to hearing school right away, which was really hard because I had no speech skills and made no sense. I was walking around bravely to people that didn't understand me for the first two years. But speech therapy has really saved my butt so many times. It was so worth the hours every night. I remember one day in high school, I was going around talking to teachers and my guidance counselors about getting letters of recommendation for college. 
I, I kept asking if they could meet, like, fix, fit me in their schedule. I, I got some funny looks, some people laughed. But I never thought anything of it. I went home, I told my grandmother, Grandma, I'd be talking to my teacher, telling them that I wanted to be fit in their schedule. And my grandmother starts laughing. I go, Grandma, why are you laughing? She said, you be seen sexual. So I had to go around telling people to fit me in their sexual. <laughs> I was mortified. And I immediately brought to my speech that and said, help me, you've got to help me. And hopefully today I can say schedule correctly. And that was, speech is still a very pretty part of my life. It's an opportunity that I will always have to learn more about speech, about English, about listening. Go fast forward to my CD here at school. I wanted the opportunity to go to college. And my going to Hillary College was unheard of in the deaf community. I got so many responses for people saying, you're deaf. So are you sure that you don't want to go to deaf school? Are you sure that you might get into Hillary School? And I'm like, yes, I want to go to Churchill University. I'm going to do it. And thankfully, I applied and I got it. So today, I am a junior at Churchill University, studying government, minor in church and peace studies. I have dreams of going to law school and hopefully becoming a Supreme Court justice one day or governor of New York. Who knows? The opportunities are endless. And I chose that I found a balance between opportunities given to me, opportunities that were not there. I had to build a door to them. I chose that I really wanted the opportunity to give back to the community around me. But I didn't see an organization that I had passion for. So I just decided to build my own organization. I, I co founded an organization called Good for Change that empowers go to the DG area through professional development. I was very grateful for that opportunity. And then the most important opportunity to me is the door that was wide open, but I was too scared to walk through it. My first two weeks of church now, I was nervous and scared for the first time in my life that people were not going to be friends with me, that they were going to hate me. I had this idea they all hated deaf people. And for weeks of calling my grandmother, I want to go home, I'm dropping out. And my grandmother said on the phone, Heather, you have exactly two choices. Either you can suck it up and be free, or be a loser or drop out of college. So I'm a loser, be free. Okay, I'll be free. So I just walk into a lounge, and I'm sitting there not talking at all. And my friend said, well, my friend now said, hey, Heather, why are you partaking the conversation? And I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm deaf and I just can't hear you well. And they're like, oh, no problem. And they were totally cool about it. And to this day, they're my family. Which brings me to my idea. These are my own friends. I believe that each and every one of us have the ability and the capacity to build our doers and achieve our goals regardless of what people may think of, what people may say. If we persist, if we dedicate, if we believe in ourselves, we can definitely do it. If a door doesn't exist, build another one. Doors will be open. Have the courage to walk through them. If you don't know what's behind door number one, just drop it, take the risk. If it doesn't work out, go to another door. If the door has been slammed to your face, it's okay, build another one. I have been not able to change other people's minds, but you keep going and you look forward to the other doors. If an opportunity knocks on the door, take it. Always remember that if your door is closed to your face, there's probably a spare key under the mat. Look for it. Thank you.